Hello, gentlemen. For its most recent Kbet, Innovate's competition, Ripple works with top fintech experts. By the way, the SEC v. Ripple case is the result of a covered scam. Patrick L. Riley, CEO of Crypto, also shocks the community by saying that crypto fans in the U.S. would back him for president. Lastly, in Ragshard, an artist highlights RPL's fast speed and promise as an NFTS game changer. This adds to the excitement about XRP on altcoins every day, but the problem of XRPs being undervalued still exists. Read to the end to learn more about the cryptocurrency colossus. Ripple Labs is bringing back the central bank's digital currency challenge to create. Near the end of the film, an announcement says that the competition is meant to encourage the creation of different CBDC apps. For example, CB of 2023 wants to promote the creation of payment and fintech solutions using the enterprise services of Ripple. According to a press statement, the Digital Euro Association announced today on Twitter. The message says that anyone can take part in the competition by submitting your ideas for CBC applications. It's interesting to note that Ripple has set aside prizes worth a total of $200,000, and it's important to note that the challenge is split into two separate sections. For the first phase, participants must create an application on the OpenXRP ledger. The deadline for submitting CBC applications for the first phase, which started on May 15, is July 15. 2023 is August 18. 2023 a team of judges made up of experts from groups like the Digital Euro Association, MasterCard, and the Bank of Finland will look at the proposals. Web services from Amazon Bigx and Pockvis Technology will start picking out the best ideas. From August 21 to September 2023, the judges will announce the finalists on April 4, between September 6 and September 8 to 22. The winners of the first round will move on to the second. The winners of the first round in this category will create applications on Ripple's newly released exclusive CBS platform. The deadline for applications is October 31, 2023. The judges will choose the most creative answers based on the applications. Ripple will release a date. Ripple is in talks with central banks around the world, including the Apex Bank of Montenegro, to help them understand their goals and show them how its CBDC technology could help them reach those goals. Anthony Ralph, who is the head of CBC product management at Ripple, was named as one of the authors of the Decade White Paper, as was previously reported. Don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first to know about new XRP Pro developments. Attorney John E. D. dismissed the idea that the current lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple was staged in a recent webcast. Deacon made it clear that he and the other 76 KXRP owners would not have been involved in the case if there was a secret plot. If there was a secret plan, why did 76,000 people show up? Attorney Deaton explained that unlike in other countries, where individual investors could ask to be added as defendants in a case, no one has ever asked him to get involved in the ongoing legal dispute between the SEC and Ripple. He said that the dispute is real. Deacon also said that Ripple spends the $200 million. For its part, it is real, as is the whole court case. Deacon says that Coinbase and Kraken's decision to stop selling XRP is unfair. Because of the court case, the real Deacon said that he had been in court and seen the back and forth between Ripple's lawyers and the SEC's lawyers. This is what happens when you think that everything has already been decided. Hemman Clayton and Gary Gensler are all winners because of your carelessness, according to Deaton. These current and former SEC employees will continue to do their jobs while giving the crypto community the impression that things will always be the same. Don't be fooled by this. Your anger, sadness, and other feelings. In response, the lawyer for XRP said that this is how we will keep fighting until there is no more fighting. Claim that the Ripple case was made up especially for some people in the cryptocurrency world. One of the first people to say that the SEC Ripple case was made up was the founder of the cryptocurrency XRP. This claim comes from the CEO of Cyperk Superior Trading, Cyprus Dominica. Dominica thinks that the case was set up because Ripple took part in important fintech events, he said.
When I heard that Chris Larson, the CEO of Ripple, was going to be at a meeting on digital assets, I was excited. Last month, people from JP Morgan and MasterCard were in California. People from Morgan Stanley, SBC, and the city were at the gathering to talk about the news. How is it that a company that has been sued by the SEC for doing things that are against the law is still around? These things make the moniker girls wonder. And, gentlemen, it's all motivation, and Ripple is always in the center. No matter how it looks, Bill Morgan, an Australian lawyer, didn't agree with the classification. He said that Ripple would speed up the acceptance of digital assets by institutions. So, you can see why Larson was chosen. As one of the event's speakers, Patrick Riley, CEO of Reaper Financial and head of the Block Oversight Committee, also announced that he will run for President of the United States in 2024, which shocked the cryptocurrency community. Riley posted the news on Twitter and said he was still committed to pushing for blockchain and tech-based solutions to real problems in American politics. Riley's tweet caught the attention of his followers and other important people in the cryptocurrency industry, especially the aspirants. By tagging major cryptocurrency exchanges, the president showed that he wanted to include the industry's top people in his campaign. Coinbase gives money to the U.S. and Germany Riley also named well-known XRP contributors in his declaration of intent. CTO of ProxRP John Deaton, David Schwartz, and CEO of Ripple Brand Garlinghouse Riley would like to be president. Riley's image as a blockchain pioneer and Ripple endorsement got the support of crypto fans, who saw Riley's campaign as a chance to make significant changes in the financial and technical worlds, but none of the crypto personalities who have been tagged have reacted yet. James Anthony, a big fan of cryptocurrencies, said that the idea of a fintech blockchain CEO running for president of the United States made him happy. Anthony said that I should bet that some significant changes would happen. Anthony said he had faith in Riley's ability to make big changes. Yes, in Mubarak, the founder of the business that focuses on cryptocurrencies. Capital support for Riley's campaign depends on whether or not Riley makes it to the general election and gets on the ballot in Texas, a key state in the race. Riley's public announcement of his candidacy on Friday is getting closer, and the crypto community and the rest of the country can't wait to hear all of his ideas and plans. Riley is one of the few people who is an American. That is, here is the list of politicians who back the cryptocurrency industry. The hot topic right now is that XRP is cheap. Please don't forget to click the bell and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to know about changes to Hangout. In a recent tweet that included a video clip from a conversation in the yard, Reg Chart, the founder of Space Mermaids, talked about how the XRP ledger could be a game changer for both non-fungible tokens and XRP itself. During the conversation, a well-known multi-chain artist with NFTs on Ethereum, Bitcoin Polygon, and BMP was excited about looking into the XRP ledger as her next project. Rigyard talked about the XRPL's unique benefit and how appealing it is to artists and NFTs makers. Speed Rag Jordan said that the XRPL's lightning-fast transaction handling is similar to what he had seen on the Ethereum and Polygon networks. He said that it has the potential to completely change the NFTs market. The artist said that the XRP ledger is both innovative and fast, is very quick, which I hadn't noticed on Ethereum or Polygon, and she went on to say what she thought. XRP is not being directed well enough right now. Voiced a similar opinion about Bitcoin, but he stressed the importance of a good outcome for Ripple and its possible last legal battle with the US SEC. She said that XRP will go up. In the SEC case, Ripple was brought up. Notably, as was already said, different crypto experts have different ideas about what will happen for the direction of XRP's price in the future. As a result of these insights from the raid yard and the possible legal triumph for Ripple and the amazing speed of the XRPO, the XRP community is excited about what will happen in the future. Let's tell people about these people. If you're really into Bitcoin, don't miss any of our stuff. When we meet you tomorrow, We'll talk about the latest news that affects our group as a whole.